Hallelujah. Praise the King. I know you guys know what John 3.16 is. Most people who know and quote John 3.16 aren't actually even Christians. But today we're going to be going over some of the things that the writer of John 3.16 also wrote. The Holy Spirit used John, the Apostle, to write John 3.16. Let's see what else the Holy Spirit, God, led John to write in the book of John and in his epistles. This is the same guy who wrote John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his one, one and only begotten Son, that so that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That verse makes a lot of people feel good, feel comfortable. But let's read what else God leads John to write. 1 John 2.4 says, He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. First John 2.15 says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. John 15.14, Jesus says here in red letters, You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. John 14.15 says, if you love me, keep my commandments. 1 John 3, six through 3.10 This is a great passage, especially for those that uh, preach righteousness, that are actual Christians. 1 John 3.6-3.10 through 3, 10 says, Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. And this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who, do, who does not love his brother. A lot of people that like to quote John 3.16, what's, what they say and what they speak about goes contrary to these verses these scriptures from God that I've been reading you. Let's continue on. John 3.3 3. This is the same chapter as John 3.16. John chapter 3 verse 3 says this, Jesus answered and said to him, most, ass most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then four verses later, John 3, 7, remember this is the same chapter as John 3, 16. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. Later in the book of John, we, uh, we read these verses, which I'm about to read to you. A lot of people use John 3, 16 and say, oh, see, look here, God's love is unconditional. He loves everybody. No, that's not exactly what that means. Let's read John 14, 21 and John 14, 23. John 14, 21 says, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Alright, seems like God's love is pretty conditional to me. 
There has been a lot of conditions in these verses. Let's continue to John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Notice here, it doesn't say, the Father just loves everybody. Notice here it says, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. It doesn't say the Father will love you no matter what. It says, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. That's what God says. I'd rather listen to God than what a bunch of wicked heathen have to say. The Bible says that your heart is deceitfully wicked. You can't trust in your thoughts and your emotions. You have to have a basis for your life. You got to go with what God says. You got to let God be true and every man a liar. If someone goes contrary to the word, you have to go with what the word says. Hallelujah. Praise the eternal King, Yeshua the Messiah, Yahweh. Hallelujah.